What is up, everybody? To over here today. Apparently, they caught the Sony fanboy MBG saying exclusives are bad now. MBG and all the PlayStation fanboys woke up today and suddenly realized that exclusives are bad. And this is the fallout from the Redfall news that it was once developed for PS5. Sony fanboys were angry about this the entire day yesterday. <laughs> they just couldn't believe it. Like, why? They had the big surprise Pikachu face that OMG. A game was originally developed PS5. Once it got once it got bought by Microsoft, they made the future titles an exclusive. Like, how, why is that so hard to understand? If Sony was in the same situation, they would do the same thing. But you know, Xbox just apparently can have exclusives, and exclusives are just now bad. Why he has a big Kratos poster in the background? But accordingly, according to him, exclusives are bad now. When Cold War for me, uh, exclusives for Microsoft is bad, but Sony exclusives are 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 right on. They're good, but. Well, let's listen to this nonsense. Apparently, this guy did a two-hour live stream as well. I didn't watch that video at all. I'm not watching two hours of this guy complaining, but this is one of the inserts, one of the clips they found from that live stream, I guess. And this guy complaining about Redfall being exclusive um, to Xbox, but I guess he wants multi-plat, but it's not. But let's play the clip. How is it good? It, it turns out, it turns out that exclusives generally are not necessarily good for the average consumer. Yes, we all know this. We can all admit this. Even those of us who like exclusives and pay for them and buy them, we know this. We all know and we can all agree that a utopian world, right, where there is no exclusivity. No games are exclusive. You can play them wherever you want, wherever you prefer. Yes, that is the ideal world that does not and will not exist. Okay, so why bring it up then? If it's not going to exist, why even talk about it? This is funny. Exclusives are just bad now. Once this news got revealed. It was like, when was exclusives bad before? Like, where your champion Xbox has no games. Where exclusives... <laughs> like, you were bigging up exclusives back then when Xbox, we used to say Xbox had no games. But now that Xbox has some games that you want, exclusives are bad now. Just hilarious. It turns out that Microsoft's ideal world that they're trying to paint where we we, we just want to we just want to deliver these games to everybody we, you know we, we just want to make sure we focus on growth and you know i don't know about exclusivity i don't know about all that turns out you do know about that microsoft you know a lot about that well so like he's about to cry i'm sorry but this guy sounds like he's like he's like a second away from like tears going his eyes about this it was like geez get over it if you got an xbox buy an xbox or a pc it's like many xbox gamers have to do the same thing from playing these playstation exclusives we want to play like i want to play spider man on my xbox i can't do that i want to play final fantasy the new final fantasy on my xbox i can't do that so it is what it is <laughs> it's like this dude's like he's like i'm away from tears right now jeez is anybody going to talk about the recent interview with Phil Spencer where he basically admitted that, yeah, exclusives are kind of a part of the industry and they're always going to be a part of the industry? That's that's coming from Phil Spencer. That's from Phil Spencer. Okay, and <laughs> was that like some type of mic drop moment that first was said the exclusives are part of the industry? Like, okay. We knew that since the exception of video games. <laughs> it's always been a part of the industry. But yet, I see so many Xbox. Okay, it's it, the end, clip ends right. The the clip ends right there. But I don't know. I was like, okay, he, he has. This, they have exclusives. All companies should have exclusives. It's like well, that's what separates the consoles. Like I don't see what the big deal is. But I don't know. They are really. They really are not taking this news. They're taking this news badly at this point. That Redfall is an exclusive. It's like exclusives are good when it's exclusive on PlayStation, but when it's something they want on X from Xbox, it's like exclusives are bad now. Microsoft share your games, and they post that stupid quote that Phil Spencer made that when we all play, we all win. And then somebody from my comment section actually told me what that what that what that comment actually meant. Apparently, that was from the whole um, the uh, adaptive controller they made for disabled and like um, disabled gamers, so people who are di yeah disabled gamers. That's what that's for. So these clowns are just twisting that quote to make it fit this narrative that Microsoft just gives their exclusives to everybody. Well, that's not the case. It's like, no. Sony is not the only one who gets to have exclusives, and Microsoft doesn't. It doesn't work that way. It's like, if you want to, if you want to play these games, buy an Xbox or a PC once again. Stop crying. But yeah, let's see what people have to say about this. Redfall has exposed places of fanboys selling exclusives are bad. Yeah, it definitely... <laughs> 
it definitely exposed these guys in. if it's an xbox exclusive it's bad can't take this dude serious apparently this is, this is a comment from last year son. he made saying spider-man 2 is piece of only exclusive yeah he didn't he didn't have a whole little speech saying the exclusives are bad when this game was when he posted this little comment right here so it missed me with the bs at this point i'm too old for this crap <laughs> Exclusives are now bad. Yeah. This dude is putting himself in the blender. He literally has Kratos and Silent Snake in the background. Two exclusives that won't see the light of day on Xbox. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I think the Metal Gear games are on multiple platforms. I'm not. But yeah. And you can't be saying exclusives are bad while having a big poster of Kratos in the background. Like That's complete hypocrisy. <laughs> I guess you just had this revelation that exclusives are bad when this whole Starfield news broke. I don't know. But yeah, this thing's pretty accurate. A whole bunch of ponies crying. I'm just laughing. People just laughing about this nonsense at the end of the day. <laughs> Microsoft is doing exactly what it needs to secure content for its consumers. Phil Spencer said it. This is about delivering games for our fan base. Glad he's doing it. However, it makes sense to him as the head of Xbox. I know Jim Ryan has no problem excluding anyone who's not on PlayStation. Yeah. I mean, that's just how they're doing business right now. So it is what it is. He's so damn close in the title state of realizing that maybe clowning competitors for no games was not the way to go. <laughs> yeah, you kept saying Xbox has no games. When they get games, you're mad about it now. It's like, what do you think? What what did they think was going to happen? You keep pushing this negative energy that Xbox has no games. And they're going to come back as this big behemoth of uh, like, what do you think is going to happen at this point? As much money as Microsoft has and they're in the gaming industry, like they follow social media, they know what's up. Like, of course, they're going to change that narrative. So, I think Sony fanboys brought this upon themselves at this point because they kept saying, they kept repeating Xbox has no games every two seconds. And now the people have responded, Microsoft responded, and they don't like it. <laughs> that Microsoft finally has exclusives that they can't play on their precious PlayStation. Uh,. So, in short, exclusives are bad if they come from Microsoft Studios. Okay. Wow, the crying is absurd. At the end of the day, exclusive games would be on every console. I'm glad I got all the consoles. Yeah, that's definitely probably the way to go from going forward. Or at least get a, yeah, at least get a PC. Because PC, like it's happening, is getting most of, their exclu most of the consoles exclusive anyway. So, I, I don't know. Or you just have all consoles if you don't want to miss out on anything. Uh, not sure what his problem is he's obviously using a PC or laptop to upload videos to his YouTube channel so why not just get Game Pass on PC and play it there I don't know I think these guys just hate Xbox and Microsoft in general I think that's probably the reason why because I often question why they just don't play them on PC and stop crying about it but you know I think they just hate Microsoft I don't know uh, anything that takes shine away from Sony, they don't like it. Or it's, uh, because Microsoft is a direct competitor to Sony, they don't they don't want Microsoft to get any praise or any type of um, good reception. So, exclusives are only bad if PlayStation doesn't get them. If they do, well, then it's just good business, right? Yeah, that's definitely what the logic they have there. Exclusives make a platform more appealing. Having very few is why Xbox has been critiqued so hard. Ponies yesterday, buy a PlayStation to play PlayStation exclusives. Ponies today, exclusives are bad. <laughs> yeah. It, it just it just changes so fast nowadays. The different narratives. Um, I have never seen a man so mad over this. Had not issues when Sony does it, but now upset when Microsoft does it. Yeah. <laughs> It definitely like he was second away. He was seconds away from doing this. This full out, just eyes balling at this point too. Like, jeez, it's not that serious. It's really not that serious. Uh, only when others have them, yeah. And like I said before in the video yesterday too, they were just calling this game trash. But now that Microsoft said, now that it was once revealed it's gonna be on PS5 at one point, they now want it. And Microsoft is super bad for taking away from them. The entitlement is just unrealistic at this point from these guys. It's like they feel so they should just have every game on their platform. If it skips, if it skips PlayStation, how dare that game skip PlayStation? It should be, it should be on their PlayStation apparently. This guy has no shame. Literally, look at his wall.
Parkinson 40 chess move. Removes Redfall from PS5. Add Redfall to xCloud on Game Pass mobile app. All PS5 owners have a mobile phone. Microsoft, so you still have access, just subscribe to Game Pass. Dude, they're panicking over Redfall, which they were just trashing for two years straight. <laughs> That's the funny thing. They were trashing this game since it was announced. Since it was just a Back for Blood or Left for Dead or um, what's the other one? Borderlands ripoff with vampires. But now they want it all of a sudden now. Just hilarious. Exclusives are bad in general sense, but if there was one concept for all games, then it would be a monopoly, and that wouldn't be good for gamers either. Sadly, we can't have it both ways. Just buy an Xbox or use your smartphone or home PC. Xbox games are only exclusive to platforms where Game Pass exists. Only Sony can have exclusives. They should just come out and say that at this point. Like, I'm, they should just cut to the point to say only Sony should have exclusives at this point. That's, that's, that's what they really feel like. LMFAO, this is actually hilarious. The outrage as he has an M Metal Gear Solid 4 post on his wall behind him. Oh, okay, I forgot about that one. Medical Solid 4 is stuck on PlayStation. I forgot about that one. Because I know the I know the fifth one was multiplayer, but the fourth one is still on PlayStation. He is a huge hypocrite. <laughs> that makes it even worse. He has two posters of uh, yeah, that makes it even worse now. I, for, I literally forgot about that. That makes it even worse now. This guy's a huge hypocrite. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely this is definitely even more hilarious as the guy was looking at salty tears. Like you can't be saying uh, exclusives are bad. You got two Characters who have exclusive games on PlayStation and not on Xbox. Like, yeah, that guy's a clown. <laughs> Bro says this emphatically, all while there is a God of War posted behind him. The irony, yeah. He is about to cry. Uh, congratulations to MBG, not only for the CMA nomination, but the Salt nomination as well. Okay. Yeah, I'm just laughing at this guy at this point. Right, for so, because this is pretty, this is pretty hilarious. But I would include it right here. It's just funny how this guy prays. He got multiple exclusives on his background, <laughs> multiple posters is showing exclusive content on his background. But now Xbox has something he wants, and other fanboys as well have the same notion that the Xbox has something they want now. And now exclusives are bad. How? How dare you bad, bad Microsoft for having exclusive content that people want to go join your ecosystem for? How dare you? Like I said before, they're complete hypocrites at the end of the day. And it's just funny have, watching these guys have meltdowns about this. It's like, I guess Xbox got no games no more, right? <laughs> well, definitely want to see your comments down below. Leave a like, click this video, and as always, thanks for watching, and peace.